Hello, hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing well on today. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for just blessing us to sleep during the night, protecting our homes, God, protecting us, protecting us from danger seen and danger unseen, Lord. We thank you for waking us up this morning because some people did not wake up. Some people don't have the activities of their limbs. So Lord, we thank you for blessing us. Lord, we ask that you watch over our families, God. Protect, protect them from any diseases, God. Um, bless us not to catch this nasty virus, God. We ask you to help us with our ideas, God, our thoughts, and anything that we desire to do, Lord. We want you to help us that that comes to fruition. We ask all these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. I always pray before I start on something. But anyway, I'm just sitting here in the car at our local Walmart waiting on my mother. My son is with her because she is able to go to the store. I mean, in the store by herself. God has blessed her. She can do things. She'll be 85. So she can use her hands. She can walk well. She's not on crutches. She's not on a walker. Um, she can see that well. <clears throat> and I was looking at this lady. Was, I was like, but she can already come to my car? Where are you going, woman? Anyway, she wasn't. Um, and God bl God blesses her that she's able to do all those things on her own. But with this virus and stuff going on, that's want to make sure that she's wearing her mask because she doesn't want to wear one. So therefore, she doesn't go in the store by herself because we need to watch her and protect her. Um... So they're in the store shopping and I'm just sitting in the car waiting because I really don't like going in the store, especially the grocery store, especially. I don't like that. So I'm just sitting here thinking about the things that I want to do or what I want to accomplish on this weekend. I need to make some journals, prayer journals. So I'm going to start with making the cover. Making the journal covers to me is like the, it takes the longest coming up with the idea and you want to be unique and you want the person that's receiving it to love it and you know you criticize yourself you're very critical of yourself but if I look at something and it's done I I fall in love with it and it's like oh this is so beautiful it's so beautiful and I can't wait for them to receive it so that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend is working on journal covers. I don't know if I will record. Maybe I will record my process or something like that. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. Yes. Yes, I'm going to do it. Just say you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Doesn't matter how I feel about it. I'm going to record it. I need to record more videos. So I'm going to record some of the processes of me making my journal covers. But then I also have a personal life. So, I have a date tonight. We're going to eat fish. Today's Fish Friday. And then tomorrow, we're going to do some stuff for my mom in her basement. I always wonder, side note, we got Fish Friday, Taco Tuesday, Put in the comments, what is Sunday? What food is Sunday? Is it Sunday dinner? I mean, is it something that starts with the S? Supper Sunday? <laughs> what's Monday? And what's Wednesday? What could you, what's a W? What food is a W? Watermelon Wednesday? Thursday we got taco Tuesday what can be Thursday I don't know I always things that make you go hmm I always wonder that 
sometimes? What do we eat on all the other days? What can make those days special? Maui Monday? I don't even know what a Maui is. Is that a drink? I don't know. I know, I'm just ranting. Just want to put a face to a voice. Face to a voice and all that. I've been working on a um, Shopify, a website. But my son was talking to me. And was talking about going a different route, a different website. Because Shopify, if you pay with PayPal, I know that I think people have issues. PayPal holds your money or something. You have an incoming call. I had to pause. They were finished in Walmart. Now we're at the Dollar Tree. I didn't go in because I've already been to the Dollar Tree. And... I don't feel like spending money today. I got this from... I ordered a tear stick from someone from Etsy. And he... Look at this. I don't know if you can see this good. With... My... Oh, I hope I didn't have his address on here. And my address... I don't know if you can see this good, but he, this is a file folder. So he used it as an envelope. He folded it up, see that? It's a file folder. He folded it up like a envelope. I, was gonna, I wanted to try to save it. I don't have anything sharp in my, I don't have anything sharp that I possibly could open it with and save it. Let me see. Oh, just an ink pen, but it's not sharp. Sorry. I'm all up on the camera. I don't carry scissors in my... Let's see. I wouldn't keep this part. Let's see if I can open this. Oh, nice. Why am I saving this? I have file folders. <laughs> Why am I trying to save this? Anyway, I ordered a tear ruler. I was gonna order it, the memory keepers, but when I put it, you know, theirs was, I just like a specific tear. You know those tear rulers, and I guess memory, we are memory keepers, comes in three different types of rulers. Um, I would probably only use one, one type. Cause I like my tears, I tear myself. Oh, he even taped this to the, okay, dude. I can tell you what Etsy shop I got it from. I'll leave it in the description below. I'ma quit being neat. Go ahead and tear this open. He made this. He made, he, he makes the tear rulers. Okay, so he taped it to the folder. Oh, his Etsy, does he have his Etsy shop on here? He doesn't. This is cute. Oh, he gave me a free, aww, a free Junior Frosty for a year. And I put this on my key, place key tag here. So you place this on your key ring. Isn't that cute and nice of him? Expires 12:31. That's a cute idea. Oh, thank you. I'm definitely definitely going to put his information because he didn't write it on anything. Anyway, so he made these so I guess he purchased the ruler and then he put the edge, whatever. What am I trying to say? The rip part on it. Look at that. Look at that. I it's sharp too. It's sharp. So you have to be careful because it's sharp. 
It's not dull. I can't wait to use it. Hope I don't cut myself. That's for sure. So I ordered that. It only took me a few days to get. Less than five days. Less than five days. Because I surely was getting ready to order this was, I forgot how much it was. You can look it up. I think it was only like $11. And I was get see it's sharp because I almost cut myself. It was only $11. I put it in backwards. but And I was about to um, order one from I'm going to put this on my keychain. I was about to order one from um, where? Was it Amazon? This company? Uh, one just like it? And theirs was 30 something dollars. So good thing I didn't do that. Nice. I get hot easily. I'm in the car and I turn the air on. Okay, that came in the mail today. I can't wait to use it. Because of my prayer journals, I put salutations in it and quotes. So I tear all of those by hand. All of these quotes. And then I have to edge them up with a distress ink. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work. And to be careful not to cut myself because it is sharp. Well, I just thought I'd get on here and show you my face. Um, again, I'm, my name is Stephanie. My name is Stephanie. My middle name is Sue. That's how I came up with Stephanie Sue's. Stephanie Sue's uh, prayer journals. I'm going to be making other... So my prayer journals always are... Nine by no, sorry, eight and a half by high, four and a half, eight and a half by four and a half. Um, because we're a lot, it comes with prayer cards, and I've been putting um Bible study like bookmark things in and um gratitude things that you can write on. Um, there's uh, scriptures in there, quotes, scriptures, salutations, dear God. So the whole concept is writing God a letter, letters to God. So just writing him a letter. I mean, you could put in anything you want. You could tell him about your day. It's like talking to a friend, but you're talking to God. You know, dear God, I thank you for waking me up this morning. Lord, I thank you for just blessing me throughout the day. And then I might say, you know, Lord, today I was having issues on my job and Sally sent me an email and I didn't like it and I felt this type of way. But Lord, I thank you that I didn't sock her in the mouth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. But he did. You know, sometimes he keeps you from wailing on people. You know, he keeps you from saying the wrong thing. He keeps you from jeopardizing your job in the moment, you know. He keeps you from looking like a fool. Sometimes, you know, if you're in school, you may have a test and you may not, you didn't get a chance to study for the test and God bless you to get an A. He just brought all these things to your memory and he blessed you to pass that test to get through it. So those are the type of things, you know, you could write in there or you could just flip through it and be happy because there's nice things in there. You could just be happy, you know. There's things in there that might make you smile. You know, God tells us we're beautifully and we're wonderfully made. That makes you smile, right? You know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's God saying you could do anything. I am going to strengthen you. That's enough to make you smile. You know, those of us who are sick and we're going through 
issues with our body, you know, and God says you're healed by my stripes. That's enough to make you smile. You know, his word, if you, you know, abide in his word, that can get you through the day, knowing that he has promises for you. God, he promises you. If you find yourself, you know, in trouble and you don't see your way out, you know, God has made a way for your escape. He's giving you words to live by. I used to see that written on the TV, you know, back in the day, and it'd be like, words to live by. You know, what does that mean? God gives you words to live by. He gives you words to take you. It's like people take you through the day. People go to church on Sunday when we were going to church. We'll be back at church, but when we were going to church, God, the preacher, we say the preacher, the minister, the rabbi, the priest, the reverend, the elder, the pastor, whatever you want to call him or her. They are giving you a word from God to get you through the week. That's why we should go to, to work. We talk to our friends. A lot of times we want to talk to our friends and things about our issues and our problems. And we don't consult God. You know, we don't read our the word of God we don't listen to the man of God or the woman of God that God gives them a word to bless you or to make you think I am I am a church goer I miss church because I love hearing the word of God and I want to hear God's perspective even if you read the Bible you know Lord, bless me as I read this word. Give me a revelation. Give me a revelation to get me through the week that I may understand it. You may read one scripture and you'll get a revelation or a thought or you'll be like, oh man, you know, I didn't look at it that way. And then say you read that same scripture the next week. You get a whole new revelation. It's like, man, now when I read this, it's... That makes sense. That makes sense. His word is awesome. Everybody can read something differently. And that's why they tell you, you know, get together with somebody who's also reading that same thing and see what they got out of it. I know I'm talking a long time because I got time. I got time today to talk. <laughs> um, yeah. But God is good. And if, you know, if we find yourself a hobby, I always ask, this is one of my conversations that I have with people. Um, what do you do? I'll say, hi, you know, or if somebody's new at work, I'll say, what do you do for a hobby? You know, and they, oh, nothing. I was talking to a new person that started on our job, and I said, so what do you do? We were waiting on the surgery to finish, so to come in the room, so we're, we're you know, scrubbed in and everything. I said, so what do you do for a hobby? She says, oh, nothing. I said, so... She said, I watch Netflix. I said, so if you weren't watching Netflix, what do you do? What would you be doing? I'd probably be eating if you already ate and you couldn't watch Netflix and the TV wasn't on and your cell phone wasn't working. I had to cover all the bases. You couldn't play any games. What would you be doing? I knit. She didn't even think that knit knitting could be the hobby. She says, I knit. I said, okay. Then you knit sometime. You know how to knit? She's like, yes. I said, well, then that's some of your hobby. And then she started thinking, I like to travel. Well, that could be something you do. A lot of people like to take to travel. Pick up souvenirs. Take pictures of their travels. Collect things. You know, I wish... When we were tra when my parents, you know, we had come from a family of eight. My parents always took us on vacation. I wish the places that we stopped on the way, because they always drove in a station wagon, if you can remember station wagons. And when we would drive, I wish, 
because there was a commercial that came on a few years ago where the dad went traveling and you know for his business and every time he went he would get a rock from that place and right on the rock the place he got it from and wouldn't that be so neat to give to your children when they grow up or if they went also that you would do that for your children. That's all, that's a hobby. That's all kind of little things that you could think of. You know, you could find something that you could do to make yourself happy. And those of us who, uh, you, that are depressed or you get stressed out, find something that you like to do other than watching TV because some TV shows can put things in your head. Just find something that you can do that can relieve some stress, whether it's planting a garden. Some people enjoy putting their hands in dirt. I don't, but some people love it. They love getting out there and getting in the dirt and that makes them feel good. Some people love putting on makeup. Some people love polishing their fingernails. You know, some people love sitting down drinking wine, although I wouldn't say that's a hobby, but they do. <laughs> some people love shopping is shopping a hobby I mean it relieves some people's stress who am I to judge who am I to judge I love I like shopping but I like going to the thrift store so that's considered shopping so I don't know what type of shopping some people like shopping for clothes I mean there's just I mean no judgment here judgment free zone all right well I'm going to end this. Maybe I'll come and talk another time. Leave your comments below, especially on the Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I told you, you know, we said Taco Tuesday, uh, Fish Friday. See, like, I eat pizza on Thursday, but shouldn't the food start with an S? I mean, a T? <laughs> shouldn't it start with a T? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, leave your comments below. Um, those of you who are watching, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit that bell, and you know when I shall put forth a video. Maybe I'll do a, me talking to you more often. I enjoyed it. Hope you did. Before I hang up, I enjoy myself. I enjoy list. I enjoy myself. I make myself laugh. Make your own self laugh. All right. All right. Love you guys. Goodbye.